Fadili. And with us, and here with us, we have got Sitam Nakuru and Sitam Naivasha. And on stage, and on stage, we have the 10 and above. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you've given upon to us. Thank you for leading us and guiding us. May you help every one of us to be able to be able to get the word of the Lord and to be able to understand everything that we have been taught. In Jesus' name, amen.
listeners and our viewers. How are you today? How was your week? Great! Mine too was great. And it was even better because we just had DVBS last week. Thank you music team for the wonderful praise and worship. I've really enjoyed the songs and I know all of us did. Now friends, do you remember what we did last week? Yes! We had the Daily Vocational Bible School, that is DVBS, and it was in all our sitam assemblies. And I know you, my friends, went and invited your cousins and your friends, and you had great fun. So today, we're going to do a review of what we did in the last five days, all right? So if you look at this, can we read it together? Can we say it together? Yes, DVBS 2023 theme was in his presence. Good. And the verse came from John chapter 15, verse 5, which says, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. By the way, my name is is teacher faith. So let's go to day one. In day one, we learned that God loves me. And the story came from Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 27. So I hope you have your Bible, your notebook and a pen. 
to write everything that we are going to remember today. Again, please write. Day one, God loves me. And Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 27. And the story was about the prodigal son or the lost son. This son told his father to give him his wealth. And he went away and he spent all his money on partying, drinking, and having fun with friends until he finished all his money. And he didn't have any money. So he had to work to look after pigs and eat the pig food so that he could get food. And he thought, ah, uh -uh, I need to go and tell my father I'm sorry and go back home. And when he did, when his father saw him, he was so happy and excited and he went and he hugged him and said, welcome back, my son. And he asked his father to forgive him. What does that teach us? That God loves us. God loves you. God loves me. God loves us very much. God's love is constant. It is very welcoming. And it is very patient. Now, remember, if you do something wrong, always go to God and ask him to forgive you. I have something here which will remind you of God's love. If you can do it at home, do draw a heart and write, God loves me. And that brings us to our memory verse for day one. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3. And then also put your names at the bottom and you can hang it in your room. And what does our memory verse say? It says, the Lord appeared to us in the past and said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. So God draws us back to him, All right? And as you're doing that, we sang a song which was saying, Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Can you sing it a bit with me? Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. La, la, la. So high that I can get over it. So low that I can go under it. So wide that I can go around it. Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. good. Keep singing it. That is good. Now, in day two, do you remember what we did? For day two, yes, after we learned about God's love, on day two, we learned that I am God's friend. And the story came from Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 to 7. And then you skip the verses and go to verse 16 to 26. This is the story about Abraham. God came to Abraham with other angels and he told him, Abraham, I want to do something. But before I do it, I want to talk to you. And Abraham received, received the Lord and the other angels and served them something to eat. And they talked. And then Abraham escorted them because they were going on their way. And as they were going on the way, God told Abraham what he wanted to do. You see, Abraham before was an idol worshiper, but God called him out from the practice of idol worship and told him, I want you to worship me. And God was teaching Abraham to teach his children and his generations to do what is just and right. And that is why God loved Abraham, because Abraham obeyed. You see, friends, when we obey, we get God's blessing for ourselves and for our generations, all right? Therefore, I want us to remember that we need to be God's friend. You will see an image. There's a picture that you're going to see showing a father who is a friend to his children. Yes, isn't that nice? I hope you are friends with your daddies and your mommies. Isn't that nice? So, what was our memory verse? Our memory verse came from John 15, chapter 15, which says, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's, his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. 
for everything that I learned, I have from my father, I have made known to you. So boys and girls, choose to be God's friend. And I remember we sang a song. I sang a song. We sang a song that was saying, Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call. Eh? La, 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 la. I am a friend of God. Yes, you can sing it better than me. Keep singing the song. Good. Now, in day three, we learned that God provides for me. And the story we read was from 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1 to 17. I hope you're still writing it down. Great. And this story was about Elijah and the famine, there was a drought, and the widow of Zarephath. And here we see how God preserved Elijah, the widow, and her son during a period of three and a half years of drought. There was no rain. Can you imagine no rain at all in our country for three years? What are we going to drink? What are we going to eat? Yes, but God provided through a miracle. That means, boys and girls, that God provides for our needs. All you need to do is tell God about your need. And in that way, you can write a letter to God. You can write a letter to God, or you have a prayer book, and you write all your needs to him. Like I have, I have written a letter to God, and I've written for him my needs. I've also written the dates when I prayed, and a column of when God will answer. Yes, try it, do it. And then when God answers, remember to come back and say, thank you, God. So what was our memory verse? Our memory verse is Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. I am sure you all know this one. And my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So guys, remember. God provides for our needs. As you see in the picture below, you can see a basket full of different types of foods. That is to remind you that God is very keen to hear what we're going to pray. And he will answer. And you know the song that came to mind? is Jehovah Jireh. My provider, his grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. La, 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 la. Aha, good. Keep on singing the song. Keep on singing the song. Now let's see what we learned on day four. So, on day four, we learned that God wants, her, wants me to bear fruit. God wants me to bear fruit. Aha. And the story came from Luke chapter 13, verse 6 to 9. And this is a story about a man who had a fig tree in his farm. But it never used to bear fruit. So he told the gardener, I want to cut this fig tree. But the gardener said, no, please give me an ear. Let me dig around it. And let me put manure on it. And let's see if it will produce fruit. In this story, we learn that God expects you and I to bear fruit after we know that he loves us and after we make God our friend. And the fruit we can bear only comes when we read the Bible and we know what it says. And what is that fruit? The fruit of the Holy Spirit? Aha! Yes, you guys know it. From the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. And what kind of fruit is this? The fruit of love, joy, peace, kindness, patience. That means if, you're, if you don't have these characteristics in your life, you need to pray and ask God to give you that fruit. And what happens if you don't bear fruit? Just like that victory, the man told the gardener, if it doesn't bear fruit, we're going to cut it down. 
We don't want God to cut us out and throw us in the fire to be burnt. No, we don't. So let us see. In our memory verse, in John chapter 15, verse 4 says, Remain in me, and also I remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. So you'll see a picture below of a beautiful, of a beautiful tree with fruits. And you look at it and you want to eat it. So friends, let us purpose to bear fruit in our lives. And the song that came to mind is the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Great. So our last day, day five, the topic was in his presence. And this came from John chapter 15, verse 1 to 17. The verse where Jesus says he is the true vine and the father is the gardener. We are the fruits. We are the fruits. And if we don't remain in Jesus, who is the vine, we cannot bear fruit. We're going to die on our own. And this is to let us know that God is calling us to come into his presence, to abide, to remain in his presence. You see, God's love is deep. It draws us deep and close. And it is permanent. God loves us eternally. Isn't that wonderful? And we know to remain in his presence, we have to do the disciplines. Yes. What are the disciplines? Reading the word of God, studying it, meditating on it, memorizing it, praying, uh -huh, fellowshipping with others, listening to good music, and even watching good movies, and also being good people. But we can't do this on our own. We need the Holy Spirit to help us. And he does help us. And he loves to help us. So please remember to ask the Holy Spirit to help you to bear fruit. Our memory verse came from Psalm 16 verse 11, which says, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. So guys, the song that came to my mind, and the one we sang also, is in your presence there is fullness of joy at your right hand they are pleasures evermore you surround me uh-huh yes let's keep singing it very good so guys those were the five things that we learned during the daily vocational bible school and you know we want you to share this with your friends with your family with your neighbors, because when you share with them, they will know that God loves them and that God wants to be in their presence. So you may be there and you want to be God's friend. I invite you to say this prayer after me. Would you close your eyes and say it out loud? Dear Jesus, I thank you for dying for me on the cross. I thank you because you want me to be your friend. Forgive me for doing wrong things and help me from today to love you. Forgive my sins and cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Come into my heart and be my Lord, my Savior, and my God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So congratulations if you said that prayer. Remember to go to a Bible-believing church near you. Remember to read the Bible. You can start from the book of Colossians and then read the book of John. But read it every day. Tell your parents, your friend, and your pastor that you gave your life to Jesus. They will pray for you and help you grow. Now, as we come to an end, I also want to pray for all of us 
that we are going to remain in God's presence, kindly bow your head and let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the lessons you taught us throughout the five days in DVBS. Help us to remain in your presence. Help us to know always that you love us. Help us to be your friend every day. Help us to bear fruits, much fruits. Help us to remain in your presence, Lord. And help us to share with other people about your love. Be with us, guide us and lead us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, my friends, during DVBS, you received a journal. A journal you filled in the first five days, but continue filling in day six, day seven, and continue like that. That practice of daily devotion will help you grow in the word of God. And next week, we'll be right here. We invite you to join us. Otherwise, continue enjoying your holiday. And for those who are going to go back to school after about a week, have a great time in school. So from me, all I can say is God bless you. Have a great week and we'll see you here next week. Bye.